Hi guys, I'm Marla. Oh, I see it. I got it. Thanks. Easy going. Talk too much. We can be really want to come through. Good morning, guys. This is the before. Please don't look at me. Just shield your eyes for a little bit. But good afternoon. I don't know. It's probably like in the morning for you guys when you watch this but today's video is me getting ready for homecoming 2020 i'm gonna do a little bit of explaining of how this is going down but i'm gonna do that while i'm getting ready because i'm running late today's actually been literally such a crazy day i'll tell you why wait who cares i'm just gonna who ass <laughs> mm, guys i took the act this morning my brain mentally is over there <sighs> five hours did they made us take five tests do you realize how long it took five hours do you realize how many breaks they gave us one 15 minutes of a break you couldn't even go on your phone. It was interesting, but I've been trying to take, if any, I don't know if I've talked about this on my channel that much. For my makeup look today, real quick, I'm just doing glowy, dewy makeup routine. Actually, I might do winged eyeliner. Should I do it? Mm -hmm. Maybe, okay. I'm starting off with the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow and then her foundation. I think these are a really good match. I like these a lot, so I'm just gonna be doing that. Back in March is when I was registered to take the ACT. I was a junior and that's when like most kids like my age you take it your junior year. My family had scheduled a trip to go to Florida and I didn't know when our school was going to be taking the ACT yet. They hadn't announced it so I was just kind of like waiting and unfortunately it was right when my family was going to the trip. So I was going to be gone so I was like okay that's fine I'll just do retakes. But then our trip was so long that I literally missed retakes as well. So I was like okay that's fine. I'm just going to schedule it like on my own time which kind of sucked because then you have to pay for it. And back in like April I feel like I was really unsure of like how long this was all going to last and so I scheduled it rescheduled for June and it got canceled again and then I rescheduled for September and I finally took it they had like masks and had us all sit like six feet apart so it was fine but I took it today it wasn't as bad as I expected it went by a lot faster but like it was awful at the same time because my brain felt fried by the time I got to that fifth test I was like I'm not even looking at myself in the mirror I'm like literally over here I'm like basically this year homecoming isn't associated or affiliated with my school and so what's happening is basically kids like all a lot of guys they're still asking people to dances as as if it was like happening and they're just having their own like dates so that's basically what happened is they got asked you go to homecoming and it's basically just like a group date tonight but we're all dressing up as if it was homecoming i think it'll be fun i'm excited um what else i'm just gonna sit in silence now for the rest of the video because i don't want to talk about Then I'm gonna take concealer. This is the hourglass one. I use this one. I just really like the consistency of it. It's like not too dry, but not too like <laughs> liquidy. That was like probably the worst description ever. But I put it just in my inner corners a little bit. And then I like to put it on like literally the sides of my eyes. I feel like this helps like lift my face a bit and then just brighten like the entire area instead of just like concentrated right there. So I then take my finger. Really busy. And then I blend it out. Cool. Okay, and then here's my little life hack. I feel like this makes my makeup look so much cleaner looking. I just put the tiniest amount right here. And I know like Instagram fleeky brows, that's such a weird word, fleek. I just take a little bit of concealer and I put it right underneath my brow bone. And I feel like this just helps it make a lot more clean and precise without looking too intense. So it's still pretty natural. And I just take my little brush and I blend it out like that. Okay, so then I just blend out with my finger. I just feel like, oh, like that looks brighter, like it looks cleaner. I think I'm just making that up. So now I have that done. I'm going to take this. This is like the ultra professional stuff. I do this if I'm like actually going somewhere, but it's the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. This stuff actually works. I remember the first time I used this, I was shocked because I have pretty oily, it's, I have dry skin, but I have really oily eyelids. Why, like, why did that happen? But I used this and it helped a lot. So I'd highly recommend it. I'm running late and I'm talking too much. So I'm going to like speed do my makeup. And then once I get to like mascara, I'll re-resume. But this is gonna be all sped up now. Up and I'm going to blow dry my hair. I'm just gonna wing it like I always do. Does the wing dye look even? Okay, I turned on the fan because it was getting hot in my room and I'm wearing a sweatshirt and I should probably change, but I don't have time for that. 
so I'm now curling my hair. And for anyone that's curious, I just use a one inch like curling barrel. And then this actually came with a clamp. This is from like Walmart for like 15 bucks. Then I just unscrew the clamp. So that's like a wand, DIY. <laughs> taking big sexy powder except it's the mini version um big sexy hair this is like a powder it's literally magic because you go like this you section off your hair and then you put a little bit of this bad boy and you rub it in and it literally makes your hair like go stiff but it then gives you like a lot more volume and the nice part about this is you don't have to, like i don't know about you guys when i was younger i literally back comb my hair and that gives you split ends it's not very healthy for your hair so this is like a really a lot healthier way to get volume in your hair for I'm just nice. I literally am always winging it. Like, I don't know what I'm doing right now. But it's a little good. I'm gonna go change it. Ready? One, two, three. <sighs> Guys, this is. Oh! I'm gonna feel like I'm gonna cut off my hair. <laughs> my dress this year is different from what I'm normally wearing. Wait, that's so cute. Oh. This is like a velvet green dress and has a square neck, and I got for $35 from Dillard's. Who's winning? This girl. Who has two thumbs? This girl. <laughs> Can I tell you what it reminds me of? What? You're like that. Like you're like the mom that's going to a Christmas party. You know? She's gonna yeah, She's my hot woman and she just saw a book of a mom going to a Christmas party. <laughs> oh, you're just gonna wear the black heels. Do you think that's fine? Mm -hmm. Your toenails! <gasps> my toenails! Oh! <laughs> I don't have time to do the nice stuff. <gasps> Marla! <I'm> <laughs> oh, oh my I goodness. I am, I am so not What's going on? That's new carpet. And I'm your just feet trying. probably still have No, I'm just nail trying polish. my feet. Look, I'm, I'm literally destroying my feet. Here is my outfit of the night. First off, hair is curled. And I always curl it a little bit tighter than I prefer because by the time I actually show up at it, like the event or whatever I'm going to, it settles and it loosens. And then for my dress, in the sunshine, you can like see it a lot better, but it's like a emerald green color. But it is just a square neck um, bodycon dress. And the reason why I like this a lot is because I feel like bodycon dresses normally stop like right there. And this one actually goes to my knees, which is very much appreciated. And then I'm wearing just some black high heels. These are from Target. Literally this dress was 35 bucks and these shoes were probably 15. So this is a very affordable look homecoming look and I'm really happy with it actually so I hope you guys enjoyed what are you doing it's so hot outside I'm having to fall don't judge a horrible day. A little bit. I didn't um, get him one. I, I didn't even think of that. That's so bad. Yeah. That's so bad. My That's so bad. Mom. Dad trying to intimidate. Okay. We're gonna go take pictures right now and then I guess I'll have to dream.